hacks for camping and caravanning. Got to be practical. First of all, if you don't have a port -a -loo, invest in a port -a -loo. There's nothing like having a little portable one for those places and moments where things might not be quite plumbed in or working properly. Or you might be in a tent in the forest and you know the rest of the family are in the caravan. A good tip though is to prepare some of your food before you head off, before you hit the road. Don't make the age-old mistake of turning up with brand new equipment, brand new tent that you don't know how to operate and you don't know how to put up. It's a bit like going on your, your walk with a brand new pair of walking boots and you know heading off on a long distance walk. You don't do that. Everyone has had those camping holidays where it's rained relentlessly for days and days and days. Take the waterproofs, find your level um, and maybe push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. But don't be put off by the challenges and the different things that you have to engage with when you're doing this kind of holiday. Embrace it as part of the whole experience. And if you talk to children um, as they tend to get older, the holidays that they really remember are those ones. It's the time that they spent with you doing the silly stuff. The connection to green spaces, connection to trees, connection to nature, to be out in daylight is vitally important for all of us.